Hello, my name's Aaron Whitehouse and I'm a Strategic Alliances Director in the Cloud Alliances team here at Canonical, the company that makes Ubuntu. So today I'm going to cover the extended security maintenance features of Ubuntu Pro. First of all, what is Ubuntu Pro? So Ubuntu Pro for Azure is a premium image that we've created that provides you with additional security and compliance features delivered in a really cloud native way. And our idea here is to create something that's suitable for all ranges of Ubuntu Linux users to give them the best possible experience of Ubuntu on the clouds. It includes a number of useful features, but the two that I'm going to cover today relate to security. And that's about increasing the length of time you receive security fixes. And secondly, the breadth of packages that you receive security patches for. The first point that I'd like to make here is that it is a drop in replacement for Ubuntu LTS, which is the default image you're likely using on many of your clouds. So you can put this in there, receive the benefit of these additional features, but without breaking any compatibility with existing applications. We all know that with the best intentions, things that we build today have a habit of sticking around a lot longer than we intend. And so with Ubuntu Pro, we extend the security patching that's built into the operating system from the five years that comes with a standard Ubuntu LTS to 10 years. And that's turned on by default in Ubuntu Pro. ESM Infra is included in all releases of Ubuntu Pro, but where you're going to see the most value from it at the moment is 16.04, which went end of standard security maintenance in April 2021. So you can see here that ESM Infra is enabled by default when you do a UA status. And when you do your usual tools like apt, update manager or landscape, it's going to come up and say that there are packages from that ESM Infra repo. Here it's saying three. That's actually a significant underestimate of the value of ESM Infra because we re-roll those Ubuntu Pro instances to wrap up those security updates. And if you run that instead on a free machine that has ESM Infra attached, then in fact that number as of today is more like 53. The next feature I want to cover is extending your package breadth for your security coverage. That's increasing the number of packages that you receive security updates for. This again is included and enabled by default in Ubuntu Pro. I'm going to demonstrate this feature on a fresh 18.04 Ubuntu Pro machine. First, I'm going to run UA status, which tells me the different features that are available in their statuses. See ESM apps status enabled. Now I've prepared this system by installing a self-hosted email server. And that uses a whole bunch of different packages, including 99 packages from Ubuntu Universe. So I'm going to do something a bit contrived here. I'm going to disable the ESM apps feature, just so I can demonstrate the value of that feature. And so you'll see now if I do another UA status, um, it comes up and now that ESM apps is not listed because it's it's not turned on. And if I update those apt repository indexes, just to bring this back to a state like it would be if it was the free Ubuntu LTS. And now you see, if I do a, a test of what I can upgrade, um, it's saying that there's nothing to update. Everything, all packages are up to date. Then if I enable the ESM apps feature, and you can see that I've done that when I bring up the status again. So now it is back to being enabled. And now if I do an apt update, it's pulling from those additional repositories of security fixes. And if I list my upgradable packages, you will see that there are now eight packages that are there fixing CVEs in those universe packages. And I can install those as you would expect in the normal way using the normal tooling just through apt or update manager or landscape or whatever. And now those security vulnerabilities have been patched. Thank you for joining us for this demo and your interest in Ubuntu Pro. You can find more online here at our Azure subsite or on the Azure Marketplace. And if you need any help, please get in touch.